Hi everyone. So uh, in today's session, we are going to solve IPM 2023 verbal section questions. And these questions are fill in the blank questions. So let's read the instruction and dive right into it. Some of the sentences below have words that are missing. Choose the best option from the given below to complete them. Does the blank have to label their dash posts in order to bring transparency and dash the interest of the customers? Okay. Let's look at the options. So, see, it's not necessary that we enter or we, you know, start answering the blanks in that particular order. We can definitely use, uh, you know, we can try and enter the sentence with a very simple plan, right? The one which we feel is the safest. Now, what will I want to do? So the word is transparency to bring about transparency. So why will I bring about transparency? What will, what do I want to do to the interest of the uh, customer? If somebody, let's say someone is uh, maintaining transparency and for dash of the interest of customers. So let's look at the options to multiply the interest inside the interest, safeguard the interest or capture the interest. So, of course, the right fit is you want to safeguard the interest. So, influencers have to label their promotional post in order to bring about transparency and safeguard the interest of the customer. Now, if we look at the other options, distributors have to label their Facebook posts in order to bring about transparency and multiply the interest. You don't multiply uh, the interest of the consumer. In, you don't incite the interest of the consumer. So, correct collocation is option C. The culture of the 21st century on an increasingly dark scale is oriented around the practical principles of utility, effectiveness and impact. Things are good to the extent that they are instrumental. So the instrumentally uh, mentality uh, usually defined as the capacity to produce money or things. The worth of anything, an idea, an activity, an, uh, an artwork, a dash with another person is determined dash. Okay. Now let's try and fill it. The culture of 21st century on an increasingly dash scale increasingly nominal scale so these are contradictory words nominal is somewhat you know not great so of course out increasingly conspicuous increasingly ordinal increasingly global scale so global let's spark this is oriented around the practical principles of utility effectiveness and impact so the culture today we talk about at a very large scale. So for large scale, the closest option that we have is global. On practical principles of utility, effectiveness and impact. Things are good to the extent that they are instrumental and with instrumentality, usually defined as the capacity to produce money on things. So basically we judge things on the basis of practicality that whether it can produce money or other things which are valuable. The worth of anything, an idea, an activity, an artwork, a dinner, a dialogue, a conversation or a relationship with another person. So dinner with another person, dialogue with another person. So if I look at this, an idea, activity, an artwork and a relationship with another person is determined pragmatically. So pragmatically is a synonym of practical. So whether it is art or an idea or an artwork, because we have become practical, we evaluate even our relationships on the basis of that whether I can make money out of it or get some things out of it or not. So correct answer to this question will be option D. In its early stages, dementia is often dashed from normal aging, in which the older brain may naturally begin to show signs of cognitive impairment Neither dementia nor cognitive aging is, uh, aging is currently dash. Though they may be slowed through diet, exercise, and keeping the mind agile, agile is active with social and intellectual activity. Now, it's in its early stage, dementia is often, let's take a simple word, dementia is often may be confused with normal aging. 
right? Mm -hmm. So if I have to look at the words, so in early stages, it is confused. Let's look at the word which can be replaced for confused. Indistinguishable, differentiated is out, it's opposite. Distinguishable is again differentiated and distinguishable is out. Is irreversible from normal aging. This is very, you know, irreversible is not the right word for confusing. So in early stages, it is indistinguishable. You might feel that it's just normal aging, but actually it can be dementia, right? In which older brain may naturally begin to show signs of cognitive impairment. Neither dementia nor cognitive aging is currently reversible. Though contrast, though they may be slowed to, so these things cannot be reversed, but they can be slowed down through diet, exercise, and keeping the mind agile with social, intellectual, active, social and intellectual active. So the correct answer to this question will be option A. In the alleyways of Old Cairo, in its cafes, warehouses, and bathical shops, framed portraits of Egyptian icons are kept maybe or are, you know, uh, displayed, something like that. Kings, presidents, religious and political figures are all painted on fading wall, held up as symbols of a glorious past. So if I have a glorious past, I would want to show it off, right? So the alleyways of Cairo in its cafes, warehouses and barbecue, barber shops, framed portraits of Egyptian icons are substantial, fashionable, rare, or ubiquitous. So rare is out, of course, because I want to show off my glorious past. Are substantial, so your portraits are kept, right? Uh, or displayed, something like that, right? And king's presidents and religious and political figures are all dispersed, confounded, confounded is confused, are all dash on fading walls, held up as a symbol of glorious past. So they are abundant on fading walls? No. Are immortalized? Because if I'm putting something on the wall, then I want to keep it for the long time. And ubiquitous means that they are present everywhere. So they have given you the hint in the blank that in cafes you'll find it, warehouses, barber shops. So that is that they are ubiquitous. They are present everywhere. So that they want to immortalize, right? So that it goes and lives on forever, the history or the glorious past. The correct answer to this question will be option D. Working from home requires that you may have to put your dash life on dash. Some people find this very dash as they like to keep their work and home's life separate. So if somebody likes to keep their home and work life separate, and if you are given the task of working from home, so of course you will find it positive or negative if we divide it, you know, in that way. So you will find it, you know, uh, easy or you will find it difficult. Of course, if I want to keep my work life and my, uh, you know, uh, home life separate and I'm put in a situation of work from home, so I will not like it. So I'm looking for a negative word here. Now, all the words, complicated, disconcerting, disturbing, and uncomfortable, all the words can fit in here. All the words are negative. Now, working from home requires that you may have to put your entire life on camera, too far-fetched, your private life on screen, your family life on microscopes. It's not on microscope. It's under the microscope. So, we can eliminate option C. Put your actual life on video. So you have to put your actual life all the time. No, that's not true. So home life and work life is that your private life on screen can be disconcerting. That is, it can be uncomfortable, disturbing. So the correct answer to this question is option B. The human resource chief said that the company will not dash on investing in people and has dash spending on employee needs in order to dash them and provide them with a sense of stability and certainty. So the company is talking about spending. The company is talking about, you know, providing the employees a sense of stability and certainty. So that means that the company may be spending on people, right, or their employees. So the sentence sounds about positive and the hint is here that they want to provide their employees a sense of stability. 
So the hue and we are talking about human resource chief, right? Uh, said that the company will not maybe uh, not cut on investing, not reduce on investing in people, something like that. Uh, will not prioritize, makes no sense, will not delay on investing, will not debate on investing, or will not compromise on investing in people and has assured spending or prioritized spending or compromise. So compromise is negative because if I want to make my employees feel secure as a company, I will not compromise on spending. If I compromise on spending uh, on my employees, then I'm not giving them the sense of stability or certainty. So option A is out. Delay again makes no sense in option B. No. Uh, in order to confront them, now for the third blank, again, confront is a negative word. Correct answer here will be option D. That they will not compromise on investing in people and has prioritized spending on employee needs in order to reassure them and provide them with a sense of stability and certainty. So correct answer to this question will be option D. Okay. 